Hey y'all, I'm Mallory Paulino from Stay at Home Mallory. I post all kinds of homemaking and mom life content and today's video is what I call a timed tidy up where I set a timer for whatever length I'm feeling that day and I clean my heart out until the timer goes off. I hope you enjoyed today's video and it gives you all the motivation you need and if so, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to see more. So today I'm setting my timer to 30 minutes. You can set your timer for whatever length of time you feel like, but my house was a mess so I needed a good length of time, but also I didn't want to be cleaning for very long so I thought 30 minutes would be a good amount of time. I'm pretty sure I clean up these flashcards in literally every single video I do because the kids always dump them everywhere. And here's Brooklyn showing off for the camera like she does in most of my videos. Anytime she sees where the camera is, she always tries to like slowly take up the entire screen. <laughs> She's like always dancing in front of the camera and it's too cute. And thankfully on camera you can't tell how stained this white comforter is. It's got like marker all over it and who knows what else. And it was stained within like a week of us getting it and it just won't come out. Then I'm going to clear all the stuff out of the hall. And for my super quick tidy ups, I just clean like the main three areas that we're in, which is just the master bedroom, the living room, and the kitchen. I just pick up in there and call it a day there. This is Brooklyn's mermaid tail blanket that I'm just shoving all the toys that are going to go into the playroom into the blanket so I can just carry them super easily.
and for some reason this day I was just like wandering around aimlessly like I didn't know where to start or what to do next so that's why I decided to do one of my timed tidy ups because I didn't want to do anything this day honestly so I settled for doing the bare minimum. Our living room is kind of a disaster zone right now. It's covered in mostly toys, but if you think the living room is a mess, just wait until you see the kitchen. Throughout this video, all of the toys, I just toss them into the playroom because I am not worried about cleaning the playroom today. I am getting by on doing the bare minimum and I will clean the playroom up another day. We have diapers all over the floor because we had just gotten a new box and the kids always play with our new diaper box like they take all the diapers out and just throw them everywhere and I just let them for a while and then I put them away. I'm going to quickly pick up everything that's in our little dining area of the kitchen and then we're going to get to the real mess which is on like our countertops in the kitchen. See, I try to clean up the kitchen a little bit each day, but it always ends up like this no matter how much I clean. So I swear I don't just like leave it for weeks at a time like it looks like I do.
reason I open and then shut the fridge door here was because I was gonna put the water filter back in the fridge, but it wasn't full all the way, so I refilled it and then I put it back in the fridge. And here you will see me handing apples to the kids like I do literally a hundred times a day. And that's when my timer went off. It's way too blurry for you to see in the clip that I tried to show you, but you get the point. So that'll be it for today's video. We did the bare minimum, but we at least got stuff done. I really hope you enjoyed it and it gave you motivation to get something done even when you don't feel like it. So if you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more and I will see you in my next video. Bye!